Good morning, I am Dr. K. Malagiri, Dean School of Business Studies. I am going to explain about income tax. First, before going to the income tax, we should know what is income. So, it's an ordinary layman definition, everybody knows that the income means the what we are getting from the employer that will tell as an income. But according to the income tax 19, income tax act 1961, income means it is considered to be a five heads of income. So normally it includes, there are five heads. Five heads includes income from salary, income from house property, income from business and profession, income from capital gain and income from other sources. All these five are considered to be a total income. So first I am going to explain about what is salary. You know very well what is salary means. The, suppose if you are working in any organization, the amount which we received from the employer, you will call it as a salary. But it is salary means normally you know about the total salary. But salary consists of, there are three elements are there. One is called as a allowances. Another one is called as a perquisites. And the other one is called as a is profit in lieu of salary. So these three are considered to be a salary income. So after adding these three, we will get the gross salary income. So from this gross salary income, there are two deductions are there. One is standard deduction, the other one is entertainment allowances. So allowances means you know very well what is the dearness allowances, house rent allowances like that. There's a lot of allowances are there. Purpose it is nothing but the amount, the anything which is received from the employer in kind not in the form of cash that we call it as a perquisites and the profit in lieu of salary is nothing but anything which is received from the uh, past employer or present employer like a pension, encashment of hand leave all these three will come as a gross salary so if you add all these things you will get the gross salary from this there are two deductions that I, which I already have explained so so this is considered to be a salary income. Next we are moving on to the another head is called a house property. House property is nothing but how the income is calculated means the rate which is received from the house property will be treated as a annual value. So from this annual value will be treated as a income from the house property. So there are different methods to determine the annual value is there. Then you have to after determining the annual value, then you have to go for the municipal tax has to be deducted. This is the income which we received from the house property. From here, we are going to deduct the municipal tax. So after deducting the municipal tax, you will get the net annual value. From this, the deductions will be allowed. There are two, two deductions similarly like a salary, standard deduction and interest on borrowed capital. These two deductions are allowed from the house property. Then the second head is over. Then moving on to the third head. That is called the business and profession. The income which we receive from the business or profession. Business means normally the business people will earn some profit. No? That will be called as a business income. Profession is nothing but like a doctors, engineers, lawyers. If they receive any income, no? that will consider as an income from profession. So these two are coming under one category. The income, how we are going to calculate from the business income is there is a separate format. The profit which is given by the earned by the employer um, business people will be given. From that, certain deductions will be allowed. So after, from the net profit, you have to do the certain deductions. After that, you will be getting the business income. Similarly, for the profession people, that is totally different for the business income and profession income. The method of computing the profession income will be receipt minus payment. That is nothing but the how, how much amount which you received from relating to your profession. The expenses which you spend for your profession will be treated here. So this is called the business and profession income. Now we are moving on to the fourth head of income that is capital gain. Capital gain is nothing but any assets which is transferred from the assessee. If any gain arising means that will consider as a capital gain. Say for example, capital asset. Capital asset. It may be a fixed, a floating, tangible or intangible. Any kind of asset which we are selling to someone else. From this, if we are getting any profit, that will consider as a capital gain. Regarding the capital gain, there are two types of capital gains are there. 
One is long term capital gain and the other one is short term capital gain. Long term and short term, how we are recommending the long term and short term is based upon the period, the assets which is held by the asset, asset. Say for example, if I buy one asset, I am keeping it for more than 4 years and after that I am selling any assets mean, if any gain arising from that asset will be considered as a long term because more than 3 years means long term. Less than 3 years means it's a short term. So assets which the asset is held. Say for example, if assets are held last year I bought and this year I am selling it now, it is considered to be a short term capital gain. So both will be treated as a capital gain. And now we are moving on to the fifth head of income that is income from other sources. The income which does not come under this four category. Say for example, salary, HP income, business income, capital gain. Allow, apart from this four heads of income, if you receive any one income means that will come under income from other sources. So all this five only treated as a gross total income. So you assume like income tax means, income means according to the income tax act, this keep, keep in your mind this five fingers. One is for the salary, another one is for the house property, third one is for the business and profession, fourth is a capital gain and fifth is a income from other sources. If you add all these five heads of income, that will call it as a gross total income. So from this only, there are certain deductions are available. The deduction which we discussed in the respective heads are different. The other deduction which we are going to discuss in the total income will be different. That will come under section 80C to 80U. So after adding all the five heads of income, there are two types of deductions are there. One is deduction in respect of certain expenses. Deduction in respect of certain income. Say for example, if you spend some expenses relating to your any business or profession or salary, that will also consider to be a deduction with a certain limitation which will be mentioned depends upon the section. And similarly for the income, say for example if you earn any income apart from this 5 heads of income, any deduction in respect of certain income. So after deducting this to do two deductions, you will be getting the taxable income. Taxable income is this is nothing but the income which we are going to pay tax to the government according to the slab which is framed by a every year. So the tax will be calculated only based on the taxable income, not on the respective heads of income. Say for example, an SSC is having not necessarily each case all the SSC will be having five heads of income. Some may have a three heads, some may have a two heads, whatever it may be. The sources of income which you are getting is collectively, collectively called as a gross total income. So that deductions you can claim and then the taxable income will be charged. So based on this taxable income, the slab rate will be fixed. So based on the assessment year and the previous year, the previous year income, you should know about what is previous year and what is assessment year. Income which belongs to the previous year, say for example 19 to 18, 19, income will be charged in 1920. So like that they will charge it. So assessment year and previous year, every year the March the bill will be passed in the parliament. Based on that the income tax rate will vary. So based on that the income tax will be charged. So, so there are many assessments are there, self-assessment and the assessment based on the income which you submitted. So you have to submit your preparing app, uh, all the income detail, then you have to submit to the income tax officer. You have to file it and then based on that the income tax will be charged. So you have to pay income tax based on this income only. Now you have come to an idea of stating that what is income, what is income tax that you will come to know. The in, based on the income which we are submitting, the tax will be levied. So what is income tax? Now you understand that. The income tax means the tax which is levied on the income earned during the previous year. So that is what income tax is about. So how this subject is going to be useful, you know very well. The subject which other subject which you study maybe will not help you for your day to day life. But everybody is going to earn an income in future, you are going to file a return and you are going to submit to the government officer. So you should have an idea about what is income, what is income tax. Thank you.